Hi everyone. It is Saturday. I don't know the date. Nothing new. I never know the date. It is Saturday and I went out and about shopping today because I am going on a crop in three weeks and I'm like I need to go out there and buy things for the goodie bags that I make for my roommate, table mates, and the host. So I'm like let me go now because I don't want to go in a hurry later to go shopping. So let me go ahead and share with you some of the things that I bought throughout not only for the crop but other things as well so let me start off with dollar tree i stumbled upon first of all this book and i had been looking for this book ever since i saw k is for karen sharing it and i think she bought it like during the summer like a long time ago and my stories never got it and i stumbled upon this one the dream walls island paradise and there's four others desert ocean Desert style, ocean getaway, wanderlust, and good vibes. I would love to find all of them, but I'm content that I found one. And basically what it is, is just a book of full page images that you can create a collage. Or if you do mini albums, you can use that because the paper quality is thick. It's like it's a nice quality paper. Um, if you do junk journals, you can cut part of this. Like look at this beautiful blue. Uh, look at these green everything is so vibrant so pretty so i'm glad i stumbled upon this i hope i can stumble upon the other ones because they're great and if you're like i don't think that i'm going to use this for mini album you literally could cut all of these pages out and just create a nice collage on the wall i mean that's basically what the purpose of it is but you can do whatever you want to with it once you purchase it it's your book you can do whatever you want so this is the premise of it looking like this so Nice find. I'm glad I stumbled upon it. And the first thing I'm going to show you is this spatula, this beauty spatula. So you get two of them and it's a pretty long one. Um, I use, I have one that's a smaller one like this because uh, my makeup, the foundation that I use is the pump. And when I can't pump out any more foundation, I know that jar still has plenty of foundation in there and it does literally when the when the pump no longer works and no longer is picking up product i scoop it out and i have foundation for another two and a half weeks i kid you not so the one that i have is about this size but this one comes with both of them this this size which is a smaller one and then this large one to get into those taller bottles like lotion and stuff like that um this is not a dollar tree item i don't know who makes this it just says 2022 Schroeder and Tremaine. So I don't know. There's a pink one and there's a blue one. I did grab one of each. One for me and one for my sister. The next thing that I found are these cleansing daily face wash. I like that it's daily. Um, I don't like to keep a, a schedule of only use two or three times a week. I can't do that because I, I one, will not keep up with the schedule. I need something I can use every day. So I bought this. Because currently, well, before I started using this, because I've been using this for about I bought these a couple of days ago when I went to Dollar Tree during the week. Um, I recently, before this, though, was using V because I'm older now, and I think soap was dehydrating my skin. So I'm, let me try something different, like a facial cleanser and not so much bar soap that I've been using my entire life. Um, and I bought V because I thought that was a good brand. And it is a good brand, but it just does not agree with my skin. I do not like the way it leaves my skin. I feel like my face is not clean. It does not feel smooth. I do not like it. So when I stumbled upon this, because the CeraVe is not cheap, and I'm like, if I could buy, I bought four of them for five bucks, um, that's a pretty good deal if I like it. And if I don't like it, I don't feel like I've wasted that much money. And if you're like, well, why did you grab four, not knowing whether you're gonna like it or not? Because I get afraid that once they sell out they don't bring these products back so i'm like let me go ahead and just grab them and just you know let's see how it goes play it by ear and i'm glad i did because i love this product you pour a little bit a little bit on your hand you rub your hands together to create some lather and then you just wash your face with it and it just makes your face feel so clean and smooth and again this is this is what it does for my skin everybody's different people may love CeraVe. I, it just didn't agree with my skin. This one agrees with my skin 100%. It's for all skin types, fragrance-free, and not tested on animals. Um, it has the following. It's got cucumber. It's got aloe vera and green tea. So, love it. So, if you stumble upon these, I suggest you grab them. 
I also grab these lip oils. Um, I don't like lip gloss. I don't like lipstick. But sometimes my lips get chapped. And sometimes the chapstick's not even doing that. So I'm like, let me try some lip oil. So I got two of them. This one's hydrating. And this one is also hydrating. And it softens and it plumps up your lips. So I'm going to try them both. I like them because they say that they're lightweight and comfortable. So we'll see. This is Orange Crush. This is Plumberry. And on this one, I know there's another one, Cotton Candy, which I intended to grab. But this aisle today was packed. And people just get so close to you. And I'm like, oh, could you please not get so close to me? So I just grabbed whatever I grabbed and just, I mean, it was the same thing, but it was just Cotton Candy. So we'll see how this Orange Crush is. Um, so when I try them out, I will come back and share with you guys on whether or not I like them. So the next thing that I grabbed are these nail brushes. This one had two. Normally, you just get one for $1.25, and I saw a two packs. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I just like to have this next to the soap where I wash my hands because sometimes, like, when you're outside working or cleaning or whatever, things get underneath your nails. It's always good to use a brush to go in there and get those nails nice and clean. Look at these cute stickers that I found. Look at this. I literally have not seen stickers like this at the Dollar Tree. Now, if they were there last year, Diane doesn't remember because I don't remember lots of things that happened last year. So I don't recall ever seeing them. But these are so nice. Like if you were to show me just like the stickers like this without the top, I would think they were from Hobby Lobby. Really nice, really nice. Like they're not flimsy at all. Um, there were only these three packs, okay? So I grabbed two of the bows and then one of the candy canes. Now this one has 12 and this one has 15. Yes, I'm aware that there's one missing, but I was not aware there was one missing when I purchased them, which is so weird to me. Like how did I, it's very noticeable. How did I not notice? Maybe I just got so enthralled by looking at these because I really, really like them. And there was only one of these and three total that I didn't pay attention, which is crazy. So when I started taking things out of the bag, I'm like, why is there one missing? Like, it is very noticeable. So instead of having 15, I only have 14. So I do not know if there's other types, but if I do stumble upon them and I see another one that's the candy canes I'm going to grab, um, but I don't know if there's anything else. Like, there could be wreaths. There could be gingerbread. I don't know because this Dollar Tree only had these three packs. And the Dollar Trees in my area still have a ton of, when I tell you a ton of Halloween stuff out, like you would think it was the beginning of September when they're bar barely putting things out. It's it's sad because there's there's a lot. Either that or they restocked. I have no idea what they did, but there's a lot. Even at Marshalls and Target, there's a lot of Halloween stuff. I also grabbed the Sassy and Chic 15-piece uh, small travel facial cloths. I got these to put in the goodie bags. And I got these specifically because they're individually wrapped. So these expands with water, expands, super absorbent, grows to a large full size when wet, refresh, add your favorite makeup remover for on the go touch ups, travel friendly, essential for any trip, camping, gym, picnics, hiking, and more. So I bought two packs because there's 20 baggies and I'll just keep the leftovers here for me to keep in the house or throw in my bag whenever I go somewhere. Not that I go travel anywhere. The only places I travel to is the doggone crops. I don't go anywhere else. Moving on to Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby because people were buying things were 90% off. And well, my Hobby Lobby, and I had been avoiding it. Like I've been watching on social media and I've been avoiding it. So I said, let me just go today and see what I can find. Well, I found absolutely, well, I wouldn't say absolutely nothing, but I found nothing that I was looking for. I was looking for more crafty items and nothing was labeled at 90% off. But I still stumbled upon some things. I found these cute Christmas Santa stickers. These were $2.49 originally priced, but they're 50% off, so they were $1.25. If I'm doing my math correct, right? $1.25. Look how cute this Santa is. He's just so happy and jolly. I love him. I love these stickers. So you get two sheets, a total of 64 stickers. Then I stumbled upon these Christmas Subway art foil stickers. There's only 19 and these were $1.50 because they're nor they're regularly priced $2.99. So Hobby Lobby has has had Christmas stuff 50% off. 
since they started putting things out. I think they'll eventually put it at 66% when it starts getting closer to the holidays or maybe like next month. I'm not sure. But for right now, everything is 50% off. Then as part of the goodie bag, I also stumbled upon these acrylic ornaments and you get 10 pieces. They were $2, which I thought was a great deal. I don't know what I want to do with these yet. I really want to put something with vinyl and just add it on here as an ornament, but I just don't know what yet. Once I figure it out and I complete the project, I will definitely come back and share. So because there's only 10, I had to buy two packs. And finally, for holiday stuff, I got this hexagon sequence. This was $1.99 regular price. So it's a dollar for this entire pack. You get almost the exact same thing at Dollar Tree. Of course, for $1.25. And I don't think you get as much product. You may, but I could swear that I saw this today. And I don't think you get as much product as you do here at Hobby Lobby. So for a dollar, you can't beat it. And then I did stumble upon these which was 50% off and I did pay five bucks for this, which is kind of ridiculous, but I don't know why I love them. It's these beads right here. Aren't these so pretty? So I plan to make these, I plan to make little ornaments out of these. So I'm gonna show you when I share my Target haul, how I plan to incorporate this with ornaments. So I just, you get two strands for five bucks. I mean, I would never pay $10 for it, but for five bucks, I went ahead and grabbed it. And I did find some things that are 90% off. Uh, these are keychain tags. Don't ask. I just, I know I can incorporate it some way or another. 59 cents. I can't believe I paid 60 cents for these crystals. I plan to put these on my phone, but look how shimmery they are. They're like really, really shimmery. So yeah, I would never pay six bucks for this. Or $3 at 50% off. I mean, it hurt me to pay 60 cents. <laughs> Um, I got these beads for 45 cents. This looks like candy. Looks like they look like M&Ms. And then I got this. <laughs> oh my God. I got this cactus for 39 cents. Um, I have my classroom. It's got like a plant theme. And I have little plants everywhere, like fake plants. So I'm just going to put this on my desk. I mean, it's a cute little cactus. And the last thing that I got, I think. Let me see. Oh, no. There's one more. One more strand of beads. These were 59 cents. These are pretty nice. From six bucks to 59 cents. So I stumbled upon a couple of 90% off items. And then I got these for my diamond painting. Because you guys, you know I love diamond painting. That that hobby has not died out with me. Like, I love it. Um, these are from Diamond Dots, though. And they're lighted. It's a lighted pen to put the little... Um, drills or the diamonds to put these little things to adhere these you grab it with this and you put it on your canvas but this one has a light so from eight dollars they were down to four fifty percent off i did grab two because i do love diamond painting and since we're on the topic of diamond painting um, i purchased the theme for the upcoming crop is ugly sweater so I purchased these little keychains from Timu like during the summer or was it September? I don't even remember, but I've been working on them because they're going to be part of the goodie bags. So I, I've only completed four, but they're so quick to, to make. So I, I'm, there's this one, there's this one, this one here, and then this one. So I have eight more to go. Hopefully I'll finish those by next weekend. And I'll start creating the goodie bags. And when I share, when I finish those bags, I will definitely share with you guys. That is it from Hobby Lobby. My next stop was Target. Can you all believe at Target with these two items? How much do you think I paid for these two items? Just these two items alone. I have my foundation from L'Oreal and mousse for my hair. Both essential for work. Like I can't do without these. I need both of these items. $25. $25 for this. Are you kidding me? $13 for this. $10 for this. Or was it I think it was $13.99 for this and $9.99 for this. With tax and all, $25. But what else am I going to do? I need it. And I've tried Dollar Tree Foundation. It's not the same. And I've tried Dollar Tree 
moose is just not the same. I could go to Dollar Tree, yes, but it's not the same. So, yeah, it hurt that I had to pay $25 for two items, but it is what it is. Okay, moving on. I stumbled upon, if you have not seen these, I'm going to use this box. Well, no, because they're, let me use this little, something a little bit darker so you can see these. Hopefully this helps. I stumbled upon, and I want to say they're acrylic. I don't know what other material this could be. If it's something different, let me know. I'm just going to call it acrylic. These acrylic ornaments at the Target dollar spot. These are a dollar. Um, I did buy more than just the five that I'm going to show you because I have a tree, a small tree, that I plan to just use these type of ornaments on there. And I plan to use these to add some color to this clear ornament here. That was my vision. Let's see how it works out. Or if you think it's dumb, let me know. <laughs> but that's my vision. Um, so you have this, this one here. And when you select these, be very careful they're not chipped. Because when I tell you, it looks like the workers, these were in a box and they just literally poured them in the place where they're supposed to be. Because you, some of them are going to be all tangled up. Uh, look at this beautiful snowflake. These are iridescent. There you go, iridescent ornament. And they are a dollar. And these are going to sell out. So if you see them, I suggest you grab them. Another snowflake. Look how beautiful that is. And you probably can't see the iridescent here because it, the, I don't have the great, greatest lighting. But you kind of get the idea. There's the bow. Oh, see, like this one's damaged. I didn't even pay attention to it. See that's what I'm saying? Be very careful when you select them. See, that one's a little bit chipped. It is what it is. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. And I suggest like when you put them on, like get a wet cloth and just clean them a little bit because they get like your fingerprints are on them. And then the last one is this beautiful deer, specifically this one. Be very careful when you select because the antlers could be broken because the antlers are nice and long and these are easy to break. So very cute. I think they're going to look good with these. Right? <laughs> I think it needs color. I think we need some color thrown in there. So these are a nice size. And then when I put these little disco balls, it'll give it the color that I need. I think. We'll see how it works out. The last things that I grabbed at Target are these little miniature houses, which they're not that miniature, but they're for like a Christmas village. So I have a Christmas village and it's all different type of houses. It's not from the same maker. It's not from the same company. It's wherever I find little houses or little things for a little Christmas village, I'm going to get it. So I've, it's Michael's, it's Goodwill, it's Dollar Tree. It's just a mixture of all Tuesday morning. It's just a mixture of a lot of them. So these are $5 each. And I only found five. I mean, I'm sorry. I only found three of them. I don't know if there's other houses, but I only found these three. They're nice size. This is my hand. That's the house. So there's a light. The, not, the light is nice and bright. It's not a dim light at all. The glitter is going to be all over you. So just be aware of that. But I got this one, which is the Coco Cafe. This one, which is the North Pole Bakery. Nice light. Now also make sure that the tabs have not been pulled and the light has been on throughout the time that the store is open because no one's going to turn it off. Um, I pulled the little tabs off of all of them. They have the post office. This is really big. Well, not big, but you, you can see against my hands that it's, they're not tiny, tiny. And look how nice it illuminates. Very pretty, very shimmery. But look, there's glitter all over the place already. So the next thing that I found are these bows. These are for candlesticks. Um, and this is going to be for my roommate's gift part of it and um they only had like four boxes four, four of these and these were three dollars like i would think i would pay five dollars for these and they were three dollars each so a dollar fifty each is not bad and um I, there was only four i grabbed four boxes i grabbed one for me to have at the house and one for my roommate's gift and i do believe that is all i got at target 
Okay, moving on to Home Goods and Marshalls. So I bought these. These are milk chocolate pralines filled with artificial flavor amaretto cream. I'm going to put one of these in each of the goodie bags. These were $5. Then I stumbled upon my Christmas mug. I saw this and I'm like, oh my God, I love that. But before I show you the mug that I bought there, I did forget to share one last thing from the Dollar Tree are these mugs. Um, there's three colors, this green one a white one, and a red one. I fell in love with these because look at the pattern. It's like a sweater. So cozy. So I grabbed a green one for my son and the red one for me, or vice versa. I mean, I, don't, I really don't care. Um, but yeah, they also had a white one, which I had no interest in the white one. I like the green and the red. It's more festive than just the white one. So then I found this one at Marshall's, and I'm like, oh my God, I love the color and the design so pretty but this was 4.99 and so this is gonna be my other christmas mug so now i have two and then for my roommate my roommate at the crop her theme is gonna be every time that i give her a gift it's going to it's, it's been a theme so like one year it was all hello kitty one was all like bath and beauty type bag so this one is going to be bows so i bought two of these for her but i also stumbled upon this mug that I'm going to give her. Look how pretty this is. Now this was $10. But I figure it's the Christmas gift mug. And the handle is just. Look how beautiful that is. So I think she's going to love it. I do believe that is all. I, that's it. That's all that I bought today. Um, I, yeah. I hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend. And an even better week coming ahead. And with that being said, just keep an eye out for my next video and we'll definitely chit chat on the next one. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.